Okay, hi, I wanted to make a video here to showcase some exemplar student work. This is from my introductory class, Computational Thinking for Media Arts, and these students, uh, this is their first real assignment in Max. So they've been working in Max for about a week. I asked them to make a sad stochastic piano robot. So we're working with MIDI objects and math objects, um, like random, to create some sort of algorithmic musical MIDI compositions. Here, this is the first one that I want to show you. This is Tatum's. So I'll just turn it on, let you listen. I chose to show this one specifically because I really love how she has these four random objects in the middle that are random 12. So these, um, for non-musicians, there, there are 12 semitones in an octave. And then she's um, sending them into this, these math objects in also um, intervals of 12. So every time there's a bang sent here, there are, there's four notes sent to the make note object, which goes then to these pitches to create these MIDI notes. And they're random, um, except that there's always one in each of these four octaves. So we always have a low octave, two mid octave notes, and then a higher octave note. Um, and you've got sort of these two different uh, robots playing music here. This one on the side that's very fast. And then this one over on the right side that has a metro of 1000 milliseconds. So that's every second. And you're getting these different, uh, different notes, always a very high note and a lower note. And these two are always related. Okay, nice work, Tatum. Next. Okay, Genesis organized this patch so beautifully. I love how it's color, co color coded. Um, and then I also love how she has these sequence of events here. So we turn this on and this is the first thing that's happening. And then we have actually a second option for this robot going through his lesson and a third one. And one thing that's interesting about this patch is down at the bottom, there are these metro objects controlling these, dr these drunk objects, um, which are each being sent into the, the make note, um, the make note object middle inlet, which is a cold inlet for setting the velocity. So these values are actually changing the current velocity. So one thing that we could do to make this a little bit um, a little bit more interesting is we could take these metros and make them much faster. So let's try 50. Um, and actually we're gonna do 127, um, which is the max uh, velocity value that you can have. And then we will put a, um, a step size of 10 so that we can move a little bit more quickly. And let's listen to this. You can see that there's a much um, wider variation in loudness of each of these notes. Great. Nice work, Genesis. Okay. Nick. Something of Adele's Skyfall. So Nick has used the select object to make what's more like a sequencer of these MIDI notes to play them in a specific repeating order. One thing that I wanted to note here is that we have these integer objects for each of these pitches set up here. And this is great, except for the fact that when you close the patch, these integer objects actually reset to zero. So the next person who opens them up will not be able to know which pitches um, Nick wanted us to use. So the way you get around this is you use messages instead. So 72, and then you make uh, the select object trigger these messages. And the messages will maintain their value um, 
if you share the patch and reopen it or close it and reopen it. It's Mackenzie. Okay, just listen to this. So this robot is trying to play the Harry Potter theme, um, but keeps getting angry uh, and slamming the keys. I love it. Brilliant work. Similar uh, concept here that Nathan has going. You can turn uh, the toggle on to start. The robot is practicing piano, but then I have this option to quote, push the robot to play a little bit better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a little nudge. Every time I nudge this robot, he's getting a little bit more nervous. Playing a little bit faster, a little bit higher. And then lastly, Caden. So if you're looking at this and you're going, whoa, that's exactly what I did when I opened up this patch. This is above and beyond uh, what the call of the assignment was. And Caden has so many things going on here, um, which I can't even walk through because I'm not, there's just, there's so much uh, stuff happening here, but it sounds great. And I'm gonna play it for you and then let you read this description. in a creepy medieval castle and she is also sad that the only music she can play is music that you'd hear in a creepy medieval castle so excellent creativity excellent composition happening here thanks so much for sharing this with us again.